People everywhere dream about one day getting the chance to visit the world's most incredible country. We're lucky enough to already live here. Let's check out some of the most amazing places to explore right here in the good old USA. Situated just 30 miles east of Ohio's new American city, Geauga County welcomes visitors to take a step back in time and experience the charm of this rural community. A place where the traditions of the past are still alive today. The Amish began moving into Geauga County in 1876 for the abundance of farmland that was available at the time. Now there's about 14,000 people that are in our Amish community in Geauga County, and we are the second largest Amish settlement in Ohio and the fourth largest in the world. An easy drive from several major cities, the county is a great standalone destination and a perfect stop as part of a longer trip to northeastern Ohio or a cross-country adventure. People come to Geauga County because it embodies the values of a bygone era. It's no accident that Geauga County was rated the fourth best county in the nation to raise a family by Forbes magazine. The people here make it happen. The exciting festivals we have, the Maple Festival, the Geauga County Fair. And certainly if you want to go see a tea room and, and be like it was back in the Victorian era, right around the corner you can enjoy a wonderful meal. Visitors to the area are just naturally intrigued by the Amish. Um, they're a different culture. They're a lot like we are, but they still have the old beliefs of faith and family, which they hold as the strongest thing that they know. Um, living the simple lifestyles that they do, still using horses and buggies to get around, no electricity. It just really is intriguing to people that have grown up in this technological era. Middlefield Amish community member and owner of Miller's Holes House, Freeman Miller, explains. Our lifestyle is very simple and our homes are a reflection of that. We, uh, we have no electricity. Uh, and of course, with that, without electricity, we have no uh, uh, televisions or computers or phones in the home. So uh, it it's gives us, as a family, more time to be with our children and uh, learn them the things that, that we want them to be taught. While the Amish moved to Geauga County for its abundance of farmland, seven out of ten Amish men work in other trades today. I left uh, a company that I worked for 41 years here in Middlefield, Ohio, and uh, I retired there four years ago. So I opened this, this store in 2003, and, uh, and it has been great. I, I've uh, got contracts with uh, the Amish people and make my furniture, and, I've, uh, and I get a lot of tours, and I get people from all over the world visiting uh, my store, so it's uh, been a great experience. Chuck, Sam, get up. Irvin Miller, however, is a second-generation farmer. And I've been born on the farm. I still like farming, and I'm hoping to uh, uh, stay in this business. Uh, it's uh, my, my livelihood, and I like it, and I guess uh, that's what keeps me here. Before boys begin apprenticeships to learn a trade and girls learn how to run a household, they attend one- to two-room Amish schoolhouses through the eighth grade. We teach basic subjects, math, history, geography, a little bit of science, English, spelling, the German language. Middlefield Mayor Bill Poole recognizes the Amish population as an integral part of the village community. Middlefield village leaders and our Amish leaders try to work together in our community. It's inevitable that growth is going to happen and we've tried to control that and maintain a certain level of growth in our community. Some of the safety things we take into consideration is the bypasses, uh, buggy lanes, hitching rails at the different stores in, um, in our commercial district. And what makes this a unique and diverse community is the safety that we think about in the consideration of the Amish as they continue to grow and prosper here. Travelers that come to Geauga County are very much intrigued by our Amish community. It's one of our major tourism draws to the area. To see the culture that the Amish still live, their family and faith being so dear to them, traveling by horse and buggies, living the simple life that they do, it's very interesting to people that haven't grown up here. 